Alright guys, so in this video I want to show you guys really quick on how I'm getting my 10 week old English Springer Spaniel puppy accustomed to shed training and, and shed hunting. Um, I really want him to be a good shed dog for in the springtime when we're out on public or private lands. Uh, I think it would be a lot of fun to have a, sh a designated shed dog to help out. Um, so I'm going to show you guys kind of what I'm doing here. Like I said, he's about 10 weeks old right now. I've already started to get him you know, accustomed to the antler dummy here. Now this is an antler dummy from dogbonehunter.com. We're no way affiliated with Jeremy uh, and whatnot, but I just really like his products and some of his videos he puts out. So if you guys wanna check out uh, this product here, this was actually a full kit. So it had the antler dummy, which is rubber, and then it had some scent and then a DVD. I haven't watched the DVD yet because I don't have a, a, a DVD player here. <laughs> um, but anyway, as you can tell, Remy's already seen this here, antler, and he's really excited about it because I've been keeping it really short and sweet with him on kind of our training. Um, and we're gonna continuously progress. And when we train him, we wanna leave him wanting more. So I, I'll throw it a couple times. You'll see how kind of quick it is. Um, and then once it's done, he wants to keep going, he wants to keep playing, but you want to keep, keep interest with him because if it's like a toy that he's, he's using and he has every minute of every day, he kind of just loses focus on it. So you don't have to use a dummy like this, but since it's soft, it makes it easier for the, the, the dogs to not, you know, hurt themselves and be afraid of it. So if you hit yourself with it, it doesn't hurt. Whereas a real antler, once they learn how to pick it up, it's hard for them to pick up a hard antler. So we're gonna start with this and continuously to progress uh, to a real antler. That way, you know, we don't scar him. So that's enough of me talking. You can just follow me with the camera here. I will note with him, with some dogs, it's really easy to get a good retriever out of them. Um, we actually have the brother of him, Brinkley. He's three years old and we notice that he's not the best at retrieving. He likes to keep, play keep away. Bring that here, come on. Good boy, release, drop. He likes to bring a lot of different stuff around. So we'll get him attached or get him going here. But what I'm gonna be doing here is this is the, really the kind of the longest hallway that I have that's in a good spot to train right now. Um, so it's a little area that we're gonna throw it down a little hallway and you can put it up, make your own little designated hallway in your house. Um, throw it down the hallway Whereas he has nowhere, the dog has nowhere else to go, so then it has to bring it back to you, and then you just instill that retriever, that fetch instinct into them where they want to do it. So I'll show you guys kind of what we're doing. I'm gonna remove as many distractions as I can. So Remy, come, sit. Some of that same training is followed over from what we were doing in the past. Get it, go get it, go get it. I'm gonna get down. Bring it here, come on. Bring it here, bring it here, bring it here, good boy. Now I'm not going to take it away right away because I don't want him to think once he brings it that he can't have it anymore. So good boy! Good boy, man. There's a little distraction. <laughs> good job. So sit, sit. Rim, go get it. Get it. Bring it here. Bring it here. Bring it here. Bring it here. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Oh boy, so it's really simple. It's just a game of fetch right now since he's so new with it. And I don't think I have footage of it, but I did, once he started to learn how to, you know, get it, once he was trying to learn how to pick it up, it wasn't this quick. So he's really comfortable picking up the antler now and he's progressing very well. So we're gonna do it again. And drop, 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 sit. Rip, go get Good boy. Bring it here, bring it here, bring it here. Come on, come on, come on. Bring it here. Good boy. Good boy. Good dog, good dog, good dog. So you get excited, and then my tone is gonna change. Drop, Remy drop, sit, and back to work again. So it's really simple. Get it, get it. Bring it here, come on. Bring it here, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Good boy, good boy, good boy. Sit, sit. So yeah, that's really it, guys. 
We're gonna do this a couple different times, get him excited about it, make him want more of it. Rem, go get it, go get it. And then continuously just, you know, good boy, just keep progressing. He's gonna get more excited about it once we conquer this, make this better, get these retrieves better where, you know, he's not wanting to tug on it all the time. Remy, drop, sit, drop. Then we'll start progressing more, sit. We'll start putting on the scent, sit. Remy, sit. See, he still wants it. We'll do one more. Sit. Remy, sit. 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 Remy, go get it. Go get it. Bring it here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Remy, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. So that's really it, guys. It's just really a game of fetch right in the beginning. You can do this with older dogs. Um, if you don't have the dummy, you can do this with a ball, uh, just to start instilling that, that fetching uh, nature. I'm not gonna take it away from him now because I want him to still think it's fun and exciting. And come on, bring it here, come on, good boy. And so, uh, yeah, you can start using it that way, but the dummies is a great way to start putting that, that antler shape in their mind, help them learn how to pick it up, and then just continuously move on from there. We'll put scent on it. We'll do this game and then we'll eventually start hiding it around the house and then we'll transition back to baby steps outside and from there. So that's really kind of what I'm doing now. I'm gonna wrap it up here uh, with a puppy, short, quick training sessions multiple times a day and uh, yeah, it'll be good. So if you guys like the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and to subscribe to see future dog training videos and other videos, thanks. God, crazy.